This is gorilla country. In Rwanda's Baranga Mountains live some of the last 700 or so wild mountain gorillas to roam the planet. While humans remain one of the gorillas' greatest threats, in the heart of Central Africa, it's tourism that's keeping them alive. We do not want to just rip uh, from tourism, but we want to make sure that uh, tourism that helps conserving. And you really cannot conserve if you're ever exploiting what you have. And, and that's really the guiding principle. It's first light, and a team of trackers sets out to try and locate one of the seven mountain gorilla families that live on the Rwandan side of the Varanga volcanoes. Leo Unida Zimarinda has watched over Rwanda's gorillas for almost 30 years. Zamujitondo, Gakuri Chilingaji, Aonazi Jejo, Kujeza, Aozarai, Najra Ozarai, Gakumizanga Kurichira, Kujezi Jenzivone. For the trees, find the trail for the gorillas, or the plant as you walk track. This pass there. Reading the jungle the takes years of practice. Like Francois yeah, huh? began See, working it, here almost way, a trace. decade ago. And uh, you see the plant to eating. Celery, garium, omurish, champignon, because the gorillas have many to eating. Mm. The plant different. One of the greatest dangers for both trackers and gorillas is poachers. That's why Leo Unidas carries a gun. Bagashiramo imitego, bari kujira ngo imhongo zigwe mo ifumberi ingaji zajarahu nyuma na zozi gafatwa. Francois says the trackers have one major advantage over the poachers when it comes to getting close to the gorillas, and that's speaking the same language. See, talking the gorillas, the gorillas, he say, ah, this is the, my friend is coming. Now he's talk. <coughs> Says the communication to say, well, oh, I'm a friend, I'm oh, coming. the gorilla's habitat became a battleground in a decade of ethnic violence and genocide. Now tourism authorities are working to overturn the country's image from killing ground to vacation spot. It's high-end ecotourism, a strategy that has struck a chord. Tourism arrivals have doubled in recent years. To get this close to wild gorillas is not cheap. A once-only permit to visit the gorillas costs about $480, and that fee is about to rise to $640 in coming months. Such is its success that the tourism authority no longer calls on the government for public funds. When we package uh, the special things that we have in this country, uh, then we, we actually say, if you're ready to pay for it, then come to Rwanda. But if you're really not ready to pay for it, then probably this is not the right destination for you. What are the gorillas worth in the overall tourism picture to Rwanda? When somebody buys a gorilla permit, it's not, they don't just straight away go to, to the gorillas. They stay in a hotel, they pay for transportation, they buy a souvenir. So the worth of a gorilla permit is probably $33 million in Rwanda. It's a lot. It's enough. <laughs> Back at Volcanoes National Park, the trackers have called in the gorillas' locations and final briefings are underway in readiness for the tourists' departure. 
where you won't see this great species elsewhere in the world apart from here in the Virunga Massif. They are endangered species. They are endangered because of the loss of habitats. You know, the majority of this season group of travellers, all friends, hail from the United States. <laughs> Hearing stories of gorillas being poached prompted this group's journey. I'm here because I uh, am concerned about the gorillas and what is happening to them on a continuous basis. And uh, I wanted the experience of seeing them. I love, this is my third trip to Africa. And as for the price of the permit... Money always worries me. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And if you're fortunate enough to have the money, why, it's great. And it's really regretful that this doesn't happen to all those people who would really get a benefit out of it. But it is a wonderful experience to be here. So you don't mind spending the money on something like this? No, I don't. Not at all. Trackers and guides are assigned to each of the family groups to be visited this day. It's a very good group. Actually, 13 groups have... Groups of no more than eight tourists are allowed one visit per day to one of the seven family groups and they are only allowed to stay for one hour. When you look at this That's map, a maximum you will find of 56 tourists per day family. across the whole park. So this is the family. But actually this was not, initially it was not the dominant silverback in the group. He just came from around in the park and joined the group, challenged the former silverback, which was in this family. It means the dominant one mm -hmm. and the only young male, the rest they are females. Oh, can you imagine? Uh, what, what are can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> A bone rattling car journey to the foothills of the Barunga Mountains, and the group is ready to go. It's estimated that the gorillas are about an hour's walk away. Armed soldiers come with us. We're told it's for our own safety as buffalo and elephants can be a problem. But I can't help wondering if their presence may have something to do with rebels in neighbouring Congo who use these mountains to hide out. Met behind there, I see Uganda, I ain't on the side. The Congo, here, say Rwanda. Split between the Virunga volcanoes, which straddles the borders of the three Central African nations, the gorillas have seen their numbers increase in the past few years. The gorilla population here is estimated at 380, with a further 320 in nearby Uganda. Soon we leave cleared land behind and enter the bamboo forests. Francois picks up where the gorillas have been eating. This is salad for the gorillas. Eh? Normally what you want to eat is the peeling. This one and this one. It's hors d'oeuvres and main course all at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's make together. Huh? Thank so you. The thing, the mm. Salad. Mm. Salad is very happy. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's come very strong. So it is this one every day you come same the silver back. <laughs> no, 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 thanks. No for you, no for you. Humans and gorillas share 98% of DNA. This leaves them this vulnerable to all our you. diseases. Anyone with a cold is not welcome here. Where are you going there? An hour later, and word comes in. The gorillas are very close. Our guides start talking the talk. They may reply by doing the same or not. It doesn't matter. We can still proceed. And then there they are. 
There are few missing, but still around moving. Everything can be. One rather large silverback surrounded by his wives and children. Our presence is not so much tolerated, but ignored. A gusher, as this silverback is called, gives our group the cold shoulder for almost the entire duration of our one hour visit. Francois says he does because he can. As the chief, eh? the chief is not coming on. No. You see, he says that the language is dog is no problem. Mm -hmm. That means he's happy. Yeah, he's happy. Mm -hmm. He's happy, sir. <clears throat> It's okay, it's no problem. She so want to eat him because he's happy. So. With time running out, my guide thinks it's a good idea for me to be filmed in front of the gorillas. I wasn't planning on getting any closer, but the pressure is on. The charge, you see it. Uh -huh. huh? You see it? <laughs> ah, so you talk, you see, ah, this is the guy, this is talk same commentation for the gorilla. You understand? You see, ah, this is the friend, is no problem. Huh? Okay. And, uh, I survive, and in what seems like no time at all, our visit is almost over. So, one minute left. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. sir. <laughs> you Talk. take a rest of picture because it is time. To Talk move. to him. Say portrait time. <laughs> Everybody up. For the keen photographers in this group, getting that perfect shot had been a challenge. Really but did you get some good shots? Not yeah. Not, not really. Oh, oh I, I think okay. maybe I got some face yeah, shots good. today. But the verdict was unanimous. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, it's spiritual to see these animals in their natural state.